Welcome back everyone to the channel this is Game Changer X and today we are going to go over the E3 2018 Ubisoft uh, conference. They have to do all that just to promote Just Dance which no one is going to play most probably. There are a lot of games here which I don't care about but I'll still keep it for your sake so that you can understand what's happening, what's going to happen in next one year. But to start with we get to say this and this is what I am waiting for beyond good and evil too it's looking sweet and it'll be probably one of the best games that Ubisoft have ever made This was a long trailer, but it has got me more hyped than the previous uh, good and good beyond good reveal uh, trailer. wait for the game obviously this would be a documentary coming out soon another mindset a group of people who play competitive games it'll be worth checking it out and then there was this guy what he talked about I didn't care but this portion was funny he took up too much screen time and he talked about this new game trials actually there is probably already a trials game i don't care about but this is a new trials game not my cup of tea but some of you may like it trials rising and then we get this. I already knew about it, so I immediately understood what this game is. This is what I'm personally hyped about. I loved the previous Division, and this is Division 2. I spent like four months playing only Division. I think I'll do the same for Division 2 if it is as good. This is where Ubisoft start, started messing up for me by putting microtransaction in everything. Division was before that. I hope the new game stays clear of microtransaction. March 15, 2019. Then comes this one. I miss this game on Switch. I should probably play it. Mario and Rabbit. And now they have got Donkey Kong in that too. It will be awesome. The Mario Rabbit game was awesome. It got really high praise. And I think this additional uh, mode or chapter or DLC will be really nice. Donkey Kong Adventure and finally this pirate, another pirate game which is coming out from Ubisoft called Skull and Bones the old God was wiped out. not sure how it, how it, it turned out if it looks like a multiplayer game and if it is so I probably won't play it 
its impacts. This is Transference. This is one game I'll be very excited about, but I don't have VR to play. It's spooky. It's mostly a horror survival kind of game. With a lot of puzzle solving. Okay. Just hold still. Don't believe his eyes. Dad? Why are you doing this? I love you. Son. I love you with all of my heart. Escape a corrupted mind. Transfer will be awesome. Um, another game which I don't care about. I don't care about games which uses those models and uh, I will finish yeah, this. overall, not my cup of tea. Starling. Um, for Honor, obviously microtransaction laden for Honor. I did not play. I bought it and I returned it. Um, same thing with the, the new DLC that's coming out. I won't play it. Fire is burning. Crew 2. Uh, again, another game probably I don't care much about um, I generally don't care much about racing games um, so this falls in that category I'll watch some videos probably be a little excited about the game but will I play it definitely not I may check out the beta though finally what we have been waiting for This is the next Assassin's Creed game, and if they can keep microtransaction away from the game, I definitely will play it. It's set in Greek mythology, which is awesome. And uh, I want to get back to Assassin's Creed. I actually did not play Origins just because of microtransaction. The game was good. But I, I need to stick to my principles of not playing games with microtransaction. This will be probably return my return to the franchise as I have played all the games before Origins, all the Assassin's Creed. So as soon as this trailer ends, that's where Ubisoft presentation ends. It was uh, lots of fad, but uh, there were some good games. Two of the main ones, uh, Division 2 and Assassin's Creed or DC. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. And in the next episode, we will look at Square Enix, who had quite a lot of nice games. Game Changer out.